Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs and thank you for watching this video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a rotating starburst effect in Photoshop and you'll also need some other video editing program. Uh, for example, I'm going to be using Sony Vegas. However, you can also use After Effects or, or whatever you decide to use. Uh, the same principle should apply. Uh, you're basically just rotating it. And it's pretty easy. Uh, it's used in Smosh and um, Smoshing the annoying orange in the little outro sort of section. Uh, so, today I'm just going to be running through the outlines of what to do to create it. So, there you go. It's maybe going a bit fast and uh, may lag a bit, but you know, that's the, to do with the recording software. Uh, so, let's go ahead and go to File New. And you want to make it your project setting. So, it should probably be 1280 by 720. If not, I suggest you have 1280 by 720. Yeah, and just click OK and and got the background by double clicking on it and hit OK and now all you need to do is you need to get the square or the rectangle tool and just drag over the margin and the whole the whole canvas and I've already got the the audit automatically applies the layer styles so I just delete that bottom layer and this is what it should look like uh, maybe just go to edit free transform and just uh, get on the outside so I don't think it filled up the whole section. Uh, so now if you go double click on it and go to gradient overlay make sure the gradient is set from black to white uh, the style is radial and the scale is on the lowest possible number so basically it's just got a dot in the middle of the screen. Now we're not actually going to be using this, this is just an, like, an icon to select the middle of the canvas so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the brush settings and you're going to need a brush called Starburst. The link will be in the description. You can just download and put it into your presets and brushes folder. So just go here. Make sure it's on the, might as well have it on the highest end. And just go ahead and click in the middle of the dot as that will be in the middle of the canvas. And there you go. You've got the basic sort of, yeah, you've got the basic Starburst effect. And then you can go back to the under layer and take off gradient overlay. I uh, just that maybe had a cutter overlay though. Uh, so you could have it blue, for example, or blue like that for the bottom layer. And then the starburst layer, you can have whatever color you want it to be. So you know, if you want it to be white, you can then, whatever color you want, really depends. I'm going to have it as a lighter shade of blue, like so. Uh, so just go ahead and click OK and OK. And we've got the basic starburst effect. So if we go ahead and click File, Save As. Go to desktop and I'll just call it Tut for tutorial and save as a JPEG. Click save and 12 is fine. So now I'm just going to start a new project. Uh, no, I do not want to save that. Project media, just import that picture into your editing program. I'm using Sony Vegas. And if you render it out, you notice it will not be rotating, uh, which is what we want to do. To do this, just go to the event pan and crop tool. You can just go ahead and zoom in. Go ahead and zoom in loads on the on the pan and crop tool. Make sure you've got these two boxes selected as well so it keeps it in perspective. And just zoom in enough so you can rotate it and any of these square lines don't go over the edges. So that is fine for the first keyframe. Go to the last keyframe and just start to rotate it. Simple as rotate it roughly 45 degrees and exit off. And you know, if it's too fast, if it's too slow, just alter the keyframes or alter how far you rotated it. It really depends on personal preference. Uh, quite, going quite slow looks quite cool. That is just my opinion. Uh, but you can just see it building a dynamic RAM preview now. And hit spacebar. No, I haven't done yet. Okay, it's space and it's going to play. And there you go, you have the rotating starburst effect. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, you can have the same outro as Smosh and only use uh, not only Smosh and the annoying orange. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.